Happy Monday to you, Faith Pocatello Daily here, the 12th of August, 2024. Romans chapter 8, verses 12 through 17. So then, brothers, we are debtors not to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. We will suffer with him. And so that is kind of proof that you are a child of God. I mean, recent events uh, with the Olympics and whatnot um, is just uh, the beginning of, of realizing that when we stand for Christ, we will be mocked. When we tell people they need to be forgiven of their debauchery and their sin because Christ is the righteous one, people uh, might give you a funny face. But at the same time, people will go, wow. I need to be at peace with God, and Jesus is the only way that that can happen, and, and his kids bear witness about him. We imitate the Father. Listen, God says, you are children of God, and so we cry, Abba, Father, which is dear daddy. It's a term of endearment. Christ is not this Father that is so distant and authoritarian. He is a Father who lovingly gathers his children into his arms, and he loves us. He likes us, and he delights in us because he has printed his image upon us and washed us clean and we are made in the image of God and renewed in the image of Christ. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.